Hello everyone, this is Pete and Sean and Golly Family Discipleship. We're here with our fourth installment this week on 1 Corinthians chapter 11. Hopefully you've been discussing it, you've been reading it, you've been studying it, you've been uh, looking up in commentaries and, and everything else and concordances, finding out the meaning of things. And One of the things we're going to talk about tonight is we're not going to talk about specific scripture, which we're going to be referencing uh, the first 16 verses of this chapter. But what we're going to talk about right now is the fact that during these first 16 uh, verses of chapter, Paul speaks a lot about the role of a man and the role of a woman and uh, the, how they are to submit in authority uh, to God and to the Father. But the thing that we want to point out is is that he, he never, ever does anything outside that of a man and a woman. He speaks clearly that there are specific roles for a man and specific roles for a woman. And the reason that we have a need to bring this up today is because there is a lot of individuals who are confused in, a, uh, in what is called, uh, I guess, this transgenderism uh, generation, where individuals think that they have a choice, that a man says that he can be a woman and a woman says that she can be a man. Uh, there's no room for that in, in, in the scripture. And Paul doesn't make reference to that any, anywhere in these first 16 verses, and nowhere in the Bible does it do that. As it does speak of it, but it speaks of it, obviously, we'll, we see it a little bit in negative connotations. Right, and uh, one of the things that we have to always consider is God is not the author of confusion, um, nor is there any chaos in God. He is a God of structure. Um, he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So he's not going to change his mind on who you should have been or who he created you to be. Um, the world is telling everyone, oh, just be who you want to be, do what you want to do. But when you are who God created you to be in the fullness of that, when you are a man living as a man, living in your calling that God has given you or a woman living as a woman um, living righteously and the world is uh, the world has a problem with that but the world doesn't have a problem when you are confused um, we are supposed to just say okay go ahead and and do what you want to do um, the Apostle Paul is just reiterating that um, there is so much purpose in every one of us and it is um, given to us in the um, authoritative structure naturally and spiritually uh, from God. Right. God did not make a mistake. Mm -hmm. God did not create you as a man and then made a mistake, oh, you should have been a woman. That did not happen. Uh, that didn't happen vice versa for a woman to wake up and say that she should have been a man. God created you in the image that he wanted you to be created in. Mm -hmm. And scripture is quite clear about that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 says, that a man shall not set about to look like a woman, and a woman shouldn't set about to look like a man. And that has to speaking of uh, cross-dressing and transgenderism and, and transvestites and things like that. The scripture specifically says that it's an abomination for an individual to do that. You continue on the book of uh, Romans, which is the book that Paul wrote, and he talks in chapter 1 about how individuals would uh, exchange the, the lies of this world and see it as truth. And that's specifically pertaining to their sexuality and doing things that God saw as unseemly or God saw as wrong, and people would embrace it and do it. And that speaks to the fact of this transgenderism and individuals thinking, I can change who I am, or that God made a mistake creating me as he did. But never think that you are a mistake. Never think that um, God was confused when he created you. Know that God loves you. He loves you, and he loves the creation that he made. He loves... Uh, the purpose that he has for you and that he has equipped you for the call that is on your life um, and um, I, I always always run into individuals that don't know their self-worth um, and they try to define that by what the world tells mm -hmm. them but if you dive into the scripture you will know that God knew you before you were even formed in your mother's womb that he had your days written out and he knows you uh, and everything about you um, he knows that he created you on purpose, with purpose, actually just full of purpose. Um, so we just encourage you, we encourage you to know that God loves you. Right. And that he has purpose in you and for you. Right, and he didn't make a mistake. No. Uh, so going forward, continue to read this chapter 11. Uh, shoot, shoot us a comment, shout out to us, shoot us a message. But as you go throughout your days this week, remember every day, wake up looking to encounter God. Right. Make opportunities, move things out of your schedule so that you can spend time with God. Mm -hmm. Spend time exalting God, worshiping and praising Him. Uh, edify yourself, read the Word of God every day. Mm -hmm. And engage this world. Go out, talk to people, tell them about Jesus Christ. 
We love you, and until next time, God bless. God bless.